today I'm going to answer two, maybe three questions that I got asked over the weekend and it has to do with um, how to put planner pages or planner layouts inside a digital planner that is already in good notes or notability or note shelf so that's what i'm going to be showing you so let me show you my desktop and let me open good notes over here and i'm going to be using the same um planner that i used yesterday actually let me check in here that you can actually see me I don't know how to find myself oh there it is there it is okay so yeah you can see me so again I'm what I'm going to show you is let me put the volume down because I don't want to hear myself <laughs> okay so what I'm going to show you is how to put um, planner layouts and let me show you what I mean by planner layouts it would be this one these are the ones that we're going to use um, I designed these inside of Canva and I have a few pages here that I want to put inside a planner that is already on good notes and this is coming from uh, a place of how does your customer do that let's say they already bought a planner from you and they're they're trying to put different layouts inside of that planner which would look something like this so let's go to page one and the first thing for this to work the first thing that needs to happen is to find those layouts in my case I always design them inside of Canva so I have them in here and uh, I would export as PNGs in order for for that to work to put them inside good notes they need to be exported as PNGs and I would export all the pages with transparent background of course and um just export as it is i have already done that let me show you if i go to my finder go to downloads and i go in here yeah so i have already exported all six pages let me just look at one to show you what i mean there we go by the way my computer's a little bit slow because i'm running a lot of different programs at the same time so it, it might take a few seconds for things to open but here you can see it's a transparent background because you can see that grayish on the back but i'll show you what it looks like when we actually put it inside the planner let me go back in here let me see if someone has left a comment okay i don't see any comments coming in right now that's good that means you can hear me <laughs> okay so in here, I'm going to go inside good notes again, and basically what you would do or the easiest, there's multiple ways, but the easiest way would be to just drag and drop. And I'm on my desktop, but this process is pretty much the same on an iPad. You would open your file or some people put it also on their photo um, app. Um, and they would just drag from there, which is what I'm going to do is literally just drag and drop. You can do like a split screen. I'm not gonna do a split screen right now because I don't really need it. But I would just grab the file that I need, drag it onto Good Notes, and then it kind of places it wherever it wants. But you could go ahead and place it where you want. And to me, that looks fine. That's kind of what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to page two and again i'm going to open where i saved those images those pngs and i'm going to drop grab another one and drop it in here let me put it here you can resize you can also see you can resize and do different things with it kind of make it fit place it wherever 
you want to. And it's really, really easy to do. I'm just dropping random things just to show you what it is. And this is basically what you would do if you're putting a planner together inside of Good Notes. It's not something that I would do. If I were to just sell a full planner, I wouldn't go through this process inside of Good Notes. I would do it on uh, PowerPoint, you know, wherever it is that you're creating your planner, excuse me, and I will show you in a minute what that looks like. But this is from the perspective of how your customer would do that. This works with stickers, which is what we talked about yesterday as well. So it's pretty much the same process. Let me go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to open Worse Notability right here. So I'm inside Notability, which is another app that works pretty much the same way. You would open the page that you want, open your folder where your file that you want lives, grab it, drop it. Again, this is a little bit slow. It's over here, so I'm just going to drag it down to wherever I want to. See, it's very slow. Okay. And there we are. And I would do that same process to place those images in whatever pages I want. Now, I wouldn't do that if, you know, from a seller's perspective, it's not what is ideal. So let me go to PowerPoint. And here in PowerPoint is where I would actually add those images again i would just drag and drop but another way to do it which is the same process that i just showed you but another thing that you can do here on powerpoint is you click on picture over here picture from file and then it opens my finder go to downloads and just find wherever your images are double click and it brings it in there and I would just place it there. If you are working with master pages, what's it called on here? Let me see. View master, slide masters. So if you are working with your slide master instead of PowerPoint, which is what I recommend, you can actually drop it inside your la slide master and it will show in all of the other slides. And if you're new to Digital planners, you maybe don't know what I mean, but that's just like a whole other video. In this case, this um, design is very old, and I shared that yesterday. I designed this iPad, this iPad, no, this digital planner like five years ago, and five years ago, Yatsia did not know that Slide Master existed. So this one does not have any Slide Master pages. So I would have to drop whatever I want um, on every single page. Those images, those layouts, I will have to drop it on every single page. But if you are working with a digital planner that is more modern that you designed recently, it would have slide pages, slide master pages that you would just drop those layouts and it will show automatically on here. So you don't have to do it. 200 times if your digital planner is 200 pages do it one time it shows automatically so that's what i do from the seller perspective if you are creating a planner to sell i would just add all of that inside the original design not inside of good notes which is what i just showed you the good notes um strategy that i just showed you is more from a buyer's perspective that's what they would do if you sell because someone had asked a few weeks ago here in the group had asked if it was smart to sell inserts of some sort and i think that's a great idea because someone who owns a digital planner by someone else but are looking for inserts like maybe a meal planner insert or a 
I don't know, budget planner insert, you could sell those in the form of this, for example. I would sell these layouts that I have here inside of Canva as an insert, and I would just package it as a PNG that then a customer could drag and drop into their already existing digital planner inside of GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Notability. Um, the app doesn't really matter because they all work pretty much the same way. So it doesn't matter what they're using, it would work the same way. Let me go over here. So if you have any questions, any comments, drop them now. There's like a 10 second delay. So it might be a little um, late for me to answer but I'm going to be here for for a few more hours. I'm working all day from my computer. So if you have any questions, um, I will leave some links below to um, the free vault where you can grab um, some of the layouts and also a link. What was it that I was going to share? Oh, where you can grab this. Let me go back to my desktop. Okay, a link where you can grab this particular planner because someone asked yesterday, this planner is available inside, let me show you, where is it? Here, inside this one, inside this product. So if you already own this product go ahead and log in i'll leave a link to log in down in the in the, the description um to log in it's already in there if you don't own it i'll leave a link so you can grab it because that um both the 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 version with the blank pages which is this one that i showed you here let me show you over here with the blank pages is available and also one with dotted and it's two different templates that you can grab in there so i'm only saying it because someone had asked yesterday so if that's it and if you have any other questions let me know i'm happy to answer them again i'm gonna be hanging out in the group for a little bit and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.